When I was 12 years old, there was a brother by the name of Abadab, Philip Kelly, who was a childhood friend of Joe Hammond and Pee Wee Kirkland. And he had moved out to Queens. And he, we used to play in a park called IS-8, which now houses one of the top high school tournaments. It's run by Pete Edwards. Um, he uh, took a special interest in me, and he would take me to meet Joe Hammett when I was about 12 or 13 years old. And we would go get Joe early in the morning, and Joe would be in the house sleep. And we'd come and take him out of the house, drag him into the park, and he would give me pointers on what to do and, and what I needed to do, even off the basketball court. And, you know, for a young man at that time, that was like, that was like meeting God. That's like somebody meeting Michael Jordan, you know, and, able to, and, and to be able to touch him and to, and to actually, you know, because people always tell you, yeah, we're going to go see this person, I'm going to take you here, you know, until I actually seen him come out of the house. You know, I was in awe. And, you know, at the time, um, you know, Joe Hammond's light skin had a big afro. And, you know, I had a big afro once upon a time. So, you know, I really, really deep down connected with him and, and wanted to be like him. Filtering down to the youth and now refiltering it down to, to, to the next generation. I'll tell you something. If you didn't play in the Rucker, it was like you didn't play in the NBA. That's how, that's the impact it had on basketball, the Rucker. You wouldn't even suit up. You wouldn't want to get on a roster if you didn't qualify or weren't in training to be a pro.